Hey everybody! On today's video, I am going to um, try and make a similar painting to video 426.5. Um, and when I looked to find the video number, I don't know why I named, put it that, because it was in the middle of 4th 130 something so I I have no idea what I was thinking but anyhow 426.5 and this is my video from 547 so two videos ago and I think this is one of my recent favorites ah it's so yellow um it's really not yellow it's white but this is definitely one of my favorites. Um, I don't. It is so cool. The colors are perfect. And if only you could see it without it being yellow. What's the deal? There we go. So, one of my new faves, definitely. And this is. Five, four, six. This long one. So, you know, that would go on a wall like that, which I think, I, I mean, it's really hard to grasp that in video, but I like it. I like, I like the lines. I was worried due to tilting it would, I mean, you can tell which direction it went, but I think it's still okay. So, um, let's see, and if you have questions, go to dun da da da. Scroll up and up. And there you go. So, lots of information there. And I have paint mixing 101 type videos. And um, as I said in the past, the easiest way to reach me is a, fa is a Facebook message. Um, I seem to be able to fire back at those faster than any other. Um, I'm hoping... I'm about two weeks behind on my YouTube comments, but I did glance and thank you so much um, for the well wishes for my mom's surgery Tuesday. And with, and I, my goal is to bring my laptop to the hospital and um, work on it while I'm waiting. I think it's like a two hour surgery. So I should be able to answer all of you guys in that amount of time. So I just mixed up a batch of my white, which is, oh my gosh, I'm trying to get it for you. Uh, my Dutch Boy interior latex paint, Floetrol, and water. That's all. I don't have a recipe. I just mix it until it seems like a good consistency. So sometimes I get it on target, sometimes I don't. And I have to thin it or thicken it. This looks quite, quite, quite watery. Um, but I think it'll actually work for the technique I'm doing today. But dang, it should not be that thin. Um, yeah, it's really, really thin. This would be great if I was doing the hair dryer technique. It'd be perfect for that, actually. Um, but it will work fine for what I'm doing today. But I have to remind myself after the video to um, thicken it up. Listen to that. It's normally not that loud of a pitter-patter of rain. <clears throat> Let's see, try and do the 
sides a little. But yes, your comments about my mom are so sweet, so thank you. This is really thin. Yeah, the, the reason I am recreating, which will not work because you it is impossible to recreate with this painting technique, um, is because my parents got that piece after my art show. And um, I was over at their house today eating breakfast and it was in there. I was looking at it on the wall because like their kitchen and then like couch room, whatever is the same. So I was looking at it and I was like, man, that artist is so talented. That is a beautiful piece of work. So, you know, it was, it was just super cool. I, it was one of my favorites and it was actually, um, ooh, that looks, that one looks weird, you know, I'm debating if I should pause you, you know what I am going to do actually? This wipe is thicker. So I'm going to infuse this along into the other one. And that way I'll have kind of the best of both. So yeah, and that painting was actually me trying to recreate my very favorite painting which hangs above my bed which I did not do a video of and that painting came to be I was in a rut and so I decided you know it was time to paint without the camera and I ended up I did kind of a new technique to myself and I ended up with a gorgeous painting so that was from that one. Um, and the one above my bed I love so much that I just, I love it. As my son says, it's weird I have so much of my own art in my house. But, um, well, A, I don't have the salary to buy new art, which is why I love trading. Um, and... If, I mean, it would be really bad if I did not like my own art. I mean, if you're creating something that you're not proud to put up, then you might have a problem. Ah, okay. So this, I'm not really sure anymore, but I believe this is neon pink and um, magenta. This is cadmium red deep hue. Gosh, I need to... Hang on, I am clearing some paints. Crap away. Um, then I've got Grumbacher Vermilion mixed with Artist Loft Metallic Orange. You know, some of my videos get flagged for inappropriate content, and I often wonder if it's because I say things like crap. But, I mean, there's way worse, so I have no idea. But I always find that interesting. Um, this is a mix of, oh, I just mixed it. Um, Artist Loft Metallic Blue and Cayenne Blue. How do you, how the hell do you spell, uh, see, there's another one. Probably get flagged. C-Y-A-N. I've got Artist Loft Aqua green. <laughs> I cannot speak. I swear I have not been drinking. Um, then I've got Blick Fluorescent Blue. Maybe that's my problem and I should have been. An Artist Loft Metallic Purple. I was going to go with a darker purple, but I went with lighter. 
Um, I don't want to muddy this up. So usually what I would do would be to mix all the colors, but I think I'm actually going to do it more in a um, thought out pattern. I so I'm going to do like the reds and orange, then the blues, then the purple, then the greens, and then go back as needed. I really wanted, I found, I had, um, I have two 24 by 24 canvases, but they didn't fit on here, and um, I have a lot of stuff on the floor, so I didn't really want to work on the floor today. But they're the level two canvases, so they're the thinner ones, um, but I like working on those because they have rounder edges. They're not quite as boxy as this. Oops, let me just stir this. This one, no matter how much, I just stirred it like 20 minutes ago. This one separates like crazy. And somebody asked in an email, why do you have to cover this with white? And I will answer her, but um, there is no rule that you have to cover it with white. That is how I do it, which is why I love art, because there are no haves twos. You know, that's why I didn't go into, you know, surgery or something, because you got, when you open up a body, there are things that you can and cannot do. So <laughs> you can't just wing it. You can't just be in the middle of surgery and be like, yeah, let's just, you know, move that over there. So that is, that's one reason why I'm not a surgeon. I'm sure there are 3,000 more reasons. All right, so this is, as I've said, it is not a PVC pipe I'm using, but PVC works. Some PVCs have a um, groove in the middle. Um, which really won't affect anything, but just FYI, this is smooth. And this is actually junk. This is trash that came with my shelving units to help separate it in the packaging. So this is actually a piece of trash that is my treasure because I use it all the time. And there were like six more. And this is from like years and years and years ago because I made, I have a mixed media piece upstairs. Um, a Pink Floyd mixed media piece that um, depicts four different albums and I spray painted this black and I put it on there and I've also got it on a mirror in my dining room in which I, I think that one was spray painted green, lime green. So I, let's do the purple next. So I've used it for lots of things. Oh, and my hand that I burnt in the oven, nothing ever happened from it. It was such a mild burn. Um, it just felt like really, really dry skin. So nothing ever came from it, which is awesome since, I mean, my job working with the babies and stuff at the daycare, it would have been difficult, you know, with my fingers bandaged, and especially because I wash my hands so much there. Ooh, I like that. This right here, not so crazy about. So my next step is torching because all these white cells will come up. Actually, not too many. I think I usually swirl at first. That is so pretty. This, not so much. So when I mean swirl, so I'm gonna do, I kind of go back and forth. So I'm introducing the white into it. Yes, this is when 
I will torch after this because now that I'm introducing the white is when I'll get the white cells. And there's also a lot of paint right there. So there will be quite a bit of tilting. So I kind of have called this the tilt and swirl, which sounds like an amusement park ride. Maybe that tilt a whirl. Yeah, that's it. That one always makes me throw up. I immediately get off and find the nearest trash can. I'm all right with anything unless it spins in a circle. Ooh, not too bad. Okay, that is beautiful. I got to remember, so those were the yellow green, the aqua green. Um... Oh my gosh, the fluorescent blue. And then obviously there's a little bit of red in there. That is amazing. All right. So, as I said, not a whole lot of um, the white selling up. You know what this room, I'm going to go grab this other painting off the wall that I'm looking at right now. I know, it's just me and another one of my tangents. But this is kind of looking, so look at that. And then this one. Um, very similar technique. So I just didn't, this one I left um, more alone. Like I didn't blend the colors as much. Um, and this piece is in my Etsy store if you are interested. With a beautiful resin finish and it's and it will go with any home decor um I also want to say something else I don't I was I was thinking man I shouldn't say this because I don't want to start too much of a precedent but um but it's now happened I think three times um where somebody messaged me on Etsy and said, you know, I love this painting, but I can't afford it all right now. Can I make payments? Um, and I said, yes, I, I haven't gotten it yet. She said she will send her first one August 1st or August, April 1st when payday is. And then um, she'll just make monthly payments until it's paid and then I'll mail it to her. Um, so I took the listing off of Etsy. And so, I mean, I'm willing to work with people. Um, and that actually is probably the highest flattery I've ever gotten because I have been where money is extremely tight. And um, I mean, you know, my husband's teacher, but we've been, yeah, there's, I'm not going to go into it, but I know what it's like intimately. So the fact that with, you know, even money not being, you know, at the get-go that to save for art, that is truly the highest compliment I think I can receive. Um, so that option is out there. I mean, I don't want to do that for everybody because because then I'm going to have a whole basement full of paintings and having to keep track of payments like a bank. But um, that is that is there. And if anybody does really cool modern art, very very colorful, not flow art because I have my own. Um, I might be willing. It's got to be super bright and it has to be very modern and I don't like still lifes or anything like that. 
I might be interested in trading because I would love to get some new bright art in my home. So. Just an FYI, that option's always that option's out there too. I went to Girl Scouts Art Venture last night and I had some pieces in it. It's an I don't know if it's just in Omaha or if it's a nationwide Girl Scout event, but um, artists donate works. And there was a piece that I so wish I had continued bidding on. It was, it was like a woman's, it was one that was a collaboration between Girl Scouts and an artist. And it was like a woman's face. And then kind of, then there were like, it was every color of the rainbow. And then there were jigsaw pieces in parts of it that were called, painted. Um, and it was just way cool. And what I didn't realize until I saw it at home, because there were these huge feather wings near it. And I didn't realize that was part of that painting. So they were attached to it. So it was like a 20 by 40 painting and then it had these giant wings coming out from either side at the bottom and I am really quite sad that um, I didn't keep bidding because it was way cool and the money goes to Girl Scouts which is pretty awesome. Here's one, you know, I'm pulling out pieces. And doing this helps, hopefully, for when I tilt again, it will tilt a little more evenly. Maybe. <laughs> As I said, that's the hope. I don't think I want it any more towards you. I think I'm going to bring it back. And I may actually tilt up and get rid of some of this. Does anybody watch Seinfeld and when Kramer, he put like, I can't remember, but it was a personal ad and it was like, interesting trades, welcome. That's what I feel like I am. And the reason I do like trades is, um, it's, I like sharing, like the art community, um, can be a very open one, but it can also be a lonely one. Um, not so much like how I'm doing the video part, so it's not quite as lonely as like before I discovered YouTube, you know? Um, but I mean, all the years and hours and that I would paint alone. So the internet has made, um, being an artist a lot less lonely place, which is pretty cool. Just like I think being a writer would be Kind of lonely. I mean, you have your characters. I should ask my, my cousin is a published writer, Eleanor Lumprecht. So do you need a new book to read? <laughs> She's got a couple out there. I should ask her. I am very happy with this one so far, but I'm going to turn it so I want to make sure I'm seeing it from all angles to, I don't know if I just like it going down because it's kind of like a cyclone look, but 
gosh, if I start really swirling, I don't know. I don't want to ruin it. I th it needs something. The colors are beautiful. The pattern, you know, the pattern within. But it needs something. The composition just isn't quite right. Okay. Probably about to make a lot of people angry. But I am the artist. <laughs> This gets me the softer look. Which is actually the look in that, um, what would I say? The 326.5 or whatever. Whatever I said it was. You can see. These bars are driving me nuts, but I'm not quite. Well, I suppose I'll buy.
liking it so much better already. So already I know I made the right decision. Way better. running through right there. All right, I think I'm done. Um, I'm gonna try to move it very carefully back. And there are some corners that need touching up on my grubby hands. Wow. Very, very pleased with this. Very happy. I'll show you close up. I like that little dark area. I just really like this open cut, twist and twirl technique or whatever. Um, it really creates a unique look. Try and get all of it in there for you. So, real happy with this one. Thank you so much for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.